Okay, now I have what's definitely a book problem for you. Um, we've got something going on here, like we've got a tuning fork. All right. That is being dropped. All right, so the tuning fork is getting dropped um, in just normal sort of gravitational acceleration sort of thing. Um, and what we want to know is how far down is it uh, when the um, sound coming out of it getting up here uh, is a certain frequency. So the tuning fork is um, what 512 hertz and the frequency we're waiting for is 485 hertz okay all right uh, we want to find this distance um, and we'll probably also have to worry about the distance from he how long it takes to move from here to there Pro well, maybe not <clears throat> that's probably actually going to be a fairly um, short trip for the for the sound um so let's see how do we want to go about go about this well first let's see what do we have so what are we given uh we've got a tuning fork uh frequency um, F uh, is equal to 512 hertz, right? And then we don't need to know much more about that guy, uh, is dropped. Um, and it hears you, you have um, some um, gravitational acceleration of G which is customarily 9.1 meters per second 9.81 meters per second squared and um, We also know that it's resonating in the air. So, in air, the speed of sound is um, what three hundred and uh, forty-three um, meters per second. Okay. So we've got all that stuff, uh, and we want to find the distance D, um, this distance here, um, below the uh, dropping point. that the tuning fork is when at the dropping point the when at the dropping point the um, frequency heard is f prime is equal to 485 hertz okay um, so we've got given find, we've got a representation here. So that's our ID, that's a representation. Um, next we want a concept. What sort of concept are we using? Um, this is going to be a Doppler effect problem.
and then we have to worry about the main equation. Um, and that main equation for the Doppler effect is going to be uh, F prime is equal to the speed of sound over the speed of sound uh, I think plus um, the speed of the source. So, uh, d d d d d d d. Do we have any primes? We'd have no primes. So that thing times f. So that's that's the equation we care about in the end. So how do we work that? All right. So let's do a little bit of work. Um. We want to find this. We know this. We know that. We know that. We need to find um, this V prime, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just solve for V prime. V prime is equal to. Um, yeah, let's not do it in one step. Let's do it in multiple steps. So we've got uh, V plus V prime is equal to V times F over F prime, right? Uh, do it, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's everything there. And that means that V prime is equal to um, the original frequency over the new frequency minus one, right? Um, original mi minus one times um, the speed of sound. <clears throat> okay, so we'll need that. And we'll also need uh, the basic kinematic stuff, which is going to be this is equal to um, I don't know some something like uh, G T, right? And we'll also need one more kinematic equation which will be um, D is equal to one-half GT squared, right, which is equal to one over two G GT squared, which is equal to one over two G um, times v squared times f over f prime minus 1 squared, okay? That was just substituting this into that. Okay, so I guess there's nothing um, particularly interesting left over, right? We just have to plug in some numbers and find a calculator, which I famously don't own. Um, so D is equal to 343 meters per second squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared um, times the quantity 512 over 485 minus one squared. So let's see what I can do doing this um, step by step. Okay, so I've got, um, let's see, 343 squared divided by two, divided by 9.8 meters per second. 
squared. Okay, so that whole thing comes out to be um, 6,000 um, and, you know, 6,002.5. 6, I don't think we need to worry about anything more um, meters. So that's this thing, and this guy here is 512 divided by 485 minus 1 is um, 0 0.0557 squared. Okay, so we go times 0 0.0557 times 6,000 is equal to 18.6 meters. Okay, do, do, do. and so we, so that's not too far away. I mean, it's pretty far away, right? It's uh, around twenty yards or so, um, but it, it, but it hasn't gone that far. It doesn't take long for some things to accelerate to a reasonable speed. Um, it's got meters. Uh, we want a distance, so everything seems to be hunky dory to me. Um, Thank you very much.